This is it. It's time to move on in my career. And this place that we've been for the past two years is about to come to an end. My time in London, my time at Arsenal is over and we're moving on. Two clubs, PSG, Real Madrid. All I know is I'm gonna miss this place, man. And we finished on the highest note possible. The Champions League trophy. I did all I could for this club and it's time to move on. It's time to sign the contract that is going to make me the most highest paid player in world football by a landslide. This club's offering me $2 million a week. Yes, you heard that right. For a player of my caliber, I mean, I'm priceless at this point. And with Ronaldo as my new agent, he's been leading me towards this club. Along with my family, who's also currently living in Madrid, it's had to be done. And although it may upset some fans in the past as I played with Barcelona, it's the right move for my career. So Rafael Ruiz, let's sign this contract. Welcome to Madrid. It feels good to be back in Spain, and with this massive contract, we've already bought ourselves some goodies. Check this thing out, man. The red Ferrari. Oh my god, does this thing look beautiful? You heard right. 200, no, not 200, 2 million dollars a week is incredible. Like I said, for a player of my caliber, I'm the best in the world. So, like, they gotta go big. But I gotta go home. This thing's beautiful though, and this city is amazing. I love Spain. I'm glad to be back. And not only that, the car wasn't the only purchase we've made. I had to go big, and this is as big as it gets. The, I wanna say a hundred million dollar mansion in Madrid. Oh my word. With the football pitch in the backyard, my girlfriend, and of course my son who's playing with the Real Madrid Youth Academy. They're training in the backyard right now, having a blast. This is it boys, we have arrived. Rafael Ruiz to Madrid, you guys voted in the last episode. And I appreciate it, I know there's gonna be people that are upset with this move, but it's gonna make for some drama, some controversy, some crazy storylines for sure to come in the next few seasons. I got some big plans, man. Rafael Ruiz may be 28, but it seems like his career is just starting to spice up. We got big games coming up, international level, as well as just everything else in between. Let's get ourselves a look at this Real Madrid squad we got players like mason mount olmo ziek in there of course vinicius jr still with the team and so many others is an insane squad and we know that this team struggled last season boys so it was our job to sort of bring them back to glory they didn't make it out of the group stage in the champions league we got to do that this year and you know it's a new team maybe it's time for a new look we're gonna keep the hairstyle we're not changing that but i want to change the hair color and I feel like some people might get a bit upset at this, but Rafael Ruiz is going blonde. Now, we'll see if this stays around for long. I'll have you guys, maybe let's do another vote. Top right hand corner, do we keep the blonde hair or do we stick with the brown hair? To be honest, I think it looks good. One thing that I kind of forgot to do right here that I think would have made this so much better is take away the beard. I think it's gonna look so much better without the beard, but for now, at least in this episode, the beard's on, but I love the hair. Let me know what you think. Top right-hand corner, do we keep it? For me, I think it looks so dope. It's a nice change in style, but it's up to you, top right-hand corner, and it's time to get into this season. Let's go. My first game back in La Liga has been over two years, and it is the debut. The first game of the season, we have an opponent that we should beat pretty easily. So, 
Let's try to line up a few goals here. Let's go for a debut hat trick. Into it we go, boys. I'm like already counting down the days until the El Clasico because I can already tell that, that one is going to be one hell of a match. Returning, playing my former club, Barca. How will the fans react? How will my former teammates react? And how will my good friend, Joao Felix, react? Who, of course, is on that Barcelona team. Oh boy, that is, I mean, it's going to be crazy. Obviously, we got a few, well, I'm honestly not sure when the El Clasico is this season, but I will keep you updated on that. It will be coming in the next few episodes, though. I can guarantee it. And here's a look at our starting 11. Before we get into this one, I need to give a big, big, big shout out to someone who goes by the name of Megzo TV. If you guys noticed, I have like Ronaldo in my cutscenes messy in my cutscenes. he has helped me create these characters on gta his link is in the description drop him a sub and yes he's the one who makes all these if you want to learn how to make them for yourself put them in gta i recommend checking him out okay can we just get into this episode let's freaking go boys oh my god it feels weird wearing this Real Madrid kit. I am not going to lie. And I'm sure for most of you guys watching who have been watching this series for the literally the entirety of it, or at least the past few seasons, it looks weird as well. We get things going. Gabriel Jesus. Yes, that's right. Gabriel Jesus is our striker, man. We got an insane team. Like I showed you the entire squad. So many great young players who of course are young now but are older in this career mode and veteran players too it's weird that i'm one of the veteran players on this club and i believe i have the captain's armband i have the number 10 kit on as well also gabriel Zeus, for whatever reason has the number 10 kit on to this game so i'll try to change that for future episodes i'm sure people have already commented that yes Zeus is wearing 10 too i'll try and switch that so just we are in a free kick in the 24th minute boys and rafael ruiz is going to be sent up to take it no way we score our first goal for Madrid from a free kick, do we? can't freaking write this stuff are you kidding our debut goal yes that's right debut in the first half the first like 25 minutes of this game we step up we bang a free kick and this one was from a long ways out not just any ordinary free kick it's a beauty and is this gonna be the start of something special with this team for potentially years to come it could very well be, boys, some great passing, too. We are looking phenomenal as we start this game. Oh, my God. I'm loving it, Matt. I absolutely am loving it. I know I probably said that about every single team, but I got good feelings, good vibes about this season with Madrid. And look who's going to be the second goal scorer of the game. The second number 10 on this Real Madrid team. It's so weird. This was, like, the moment that I realized. I was like, yo, wait, has Gabriel Jesus got number 10 on, too? Yeah, he does. That, that That's weird, and... I guess it doesn't really come as a surprise from EA, man, with everything in this game. Um, yeah, I mean, two number 10s? Sure, man. Why doesn't just everyone throw on the number 10 kit out there? Obviously, like I said, I'm going to try and change it for future episodes because it annoys me, and I'm sure it annoys a lot of you out there too. But a great first half. Like, what a way to start our career with this team. Me and Jesus are the two goal scorers. And it, it, it's expected. The team we're playing right now isn't one of the better teams in La Liga. But to be fair, we are, like, super late on in this career mode. I believe we're in the year 2027. I have no idea who's good and who isn't good. For all we know, boys, like, some of the bigger clubs could just be terrible now. It is really weird how we are just so far ahead in this career mode. I don't know. I don't get it. We've just been grinding this thing, man, all season long. We are going to concede one right here, but with this lead, I am not really too worried. Kind of just unlucky right there. Really just the perfect cross, to be honest. We're going for more in this one, boys. And are you kidding me? We had another chance for a free kick, and my freaking teammate comes out of nowhere and tries to shoot that. What are you doing? It wouldn't matter as we go on and secure the dub 2-1 in our debut. Of course, the free kick goal was the highlights. And like I said... This is just the start of things to come with this Real Madrid team. I'm really, really looking forward to the trophies we're going to win, to the goals I'm going to score, and much, much more. There it is. 
2-1, debut victory, and we are back training. To be honest, I was surprised that I was set up to take that free kick. I'm new to the club. Usually, they wouldn't give it to a newbie, but I guess as I'm the captain, I'm the number 10, they're going to be giving me the free kicks. They're going to give me the penalties like this. And so far, man, I have not disappointed, and I think my teammates would agree that I am the man for the job when it comes for these chances of course look at this one right here banging it in that top corner and it is now transfer window deadline day you guys are going to see all the players moving around from club to club some you will recognize most you probably will not recognize as like i said we are much further on in this series barcelona making a few moves and real madrid we're making a few moves as well you guys are going to see us right about here wow Four names being added, one name out, Olmo has been sold. And as deadline day ends, we are leaving Madrid. Guys, our one-year suspension from the Portuguese national team is up. And we come back to a massive game, a European qualifier versus none other than England. We talked about him earlier in the episode. My good friend, my lifelong friend, Joao Felix. We've arrived in Portugal to play with the Portuguese national team here in Lisbon. And we're on his private yacht. You've seen it before. It's great to catch up with my best friend. Talk things over as, of course, we have played against each other, with each other, on and off for our entire career. Obviously with Portugal. And we had this huge rivalry. We've kind of always had a rivalry just being friends. And now we're back as enemies again. This time, like, it couldn't be any worse. One place for Barca. One place for Real. It's crazy because I'm the one who recruited him to come to Barcelona. And now I've left. I've gone to Madrid. I kind of feel like a bad friend. But we're excited for this new challenge. But that, that, that. We need to chill. We need to chill about El Clasico because we still got time for that. What does matter is these qualifiers as we lead the group we are topping england at the moment and whoever wins this one is going to come out on top in this group so let's get into it boys portugal and england this one could be a bit weird for me because we have been suspended from the portuguese national team for the past season if you're wondering why that is just go back and watch the episodes boys it was around i don't know probably eight episodes ago i can't, honestly i can't remember but the good news is, even if we do go on to lose this game, we are going to be advancing. But it's always great to get the training with the national team, especially as these uh, this Euro competition is going to be coming up this summer. So we got to get as much practice training in as possible. And it is weird being back out on the pitch. It feels like it's been ages and I am not starting strong. That could have easily been a yellow card. And it's going to lead to this right here. Marcus Rashford getting the goal scoring started for England. Great goal right here. And uh, I feel like that challenge that I had had a lot to do with this goal. RIP. Portugal falls behind. And England would continue with the chances in this half. Sessegnon. Great header for him. Yet again, another chance. Sessegnon into Rashford. And Rashford picks up his second goal. Yeah, all right. I don't know whether Portugal has just been missing me or I don't know what's going on, boys. Like, I am not playing well. The whole team isn't playing well. Defense, keeper, like everyone. This is not the ideal return to the Portuguese national team. We just are not clicking at all. So let's hope to God, man, we can get some better chances in this half. Even Joao Felix, you can see right there, only 11 touches for him and none inside the box. That's not good. I don't even think we had a single shot that half. Oh, boy. Let's just get into this second half and hope we can turn things around. We won it. It's England back on it again. It is Marcus Rashford getting his hat trick. What is this, man? This could be, don't get me wrong, at least right now, if the game were to end 3-0, this could be one of the worst games of my career, one of the worst losses of my career. Wow, we, it's just weird. Like, in this series, you don't usually see this, to be honest, man. You usually see us winning. And right now, England. I don't know whether it's us or if this just England team is just that good. We finally get a decent chance here. I probably could have done a bit more with this, but the ball just kept rising. And unfortunately, that one's going to go over the crossbar. Like, literally, I couldn't really find many better highlights than this one right here for Portugal. 
Oh boy, if that's the best we're going to get, there is no shot we're coming back and getting anything out of this game. Rashford finally gets subbed out in the 78th minutes. But this right here, punch away the bicycle kick into Deli Alley, and it's now 4-0. Yeah, this, this has to be the worst loss of my career. I, I, I can't think of another game where we lost more than this. And there it is, boys. Oh, my God. Great punch out. And then the bicycle kick out of nowhere. And then Deli Alley volleys it home. England for Portugal. Nil. If we play like this, I don't think there's any way we get out of the group in the Euros, which are coming up this summer. And that would do it. The game comes to an end. Portugal fall. And we got a lot of training to do. Of course, I'm going to have to take every single international break for this next year very, very serious because the Euro is something that I want to win. We're going for as many trophies as possible in this career. And as I'm getting up there in age, my time with, Eng or with uh, Portugal excuse me, could be running out very quickly. One of the best things about moving here to Real Madrid, of course, my son plays with the Real Madrid Youth Academy, and I was picking him up from training when his manager from their Youth Academy met with me to talk after training and he had some really really good news let's say for my son and guys i'm so sorry i can't tell you right now you're gonna have to wait till the next episode but this is big boys this is absolutely big as his skill increases and of course as he starts to get older man things are getting better for him and this good news is quite possibly gonna change his footballing career forever tune in to the next episode thank you boys so much for the support man can we go for 10,000 likes on this boys new club new season new storylines to come 10k likes is the goal thank you guys so much for watching if you want to check out any of my older my player series they're on the screen right now click that if you guys are just i don't know so excited for the next episode watch some of the old ones while you wait and with that i'll catch you boys later peace